Hello, this is Dr. Anil Gori, consultant in reproductive medicine, surgery and assisted conception at the Homet Infertility Center. And today I'm going to talk to you about, again, the updates from Eshray. And again, as I said, this is some few things which I learned and, and a few of my opinions regarding this. One of the challenges is always about supplements and how effective supplements are in fertility. And today I'll talk to you about a paper with L-carnitine. And the question is, does L-carnitine restore mitochondrial function of human embryos, which is decreased after as the female donor age decreases? And the question here is also asked is, does L-carnitine restore an adverse effect of female donor age and its, and its changes in this mitochondria? And where does this concept come from? And this concept comes from a belief that as women get older, it's not just the nucleus, but the mitochondria that start aging. And that aging of mitochondria may contribute to the lowering of pregnancy rates. There is something known as a rate of oxygen consumption, and that is OCR of human embryos increases as they develop. And what this study was going to look at is the relationship between female donor age and mitochondrial function and the impact of their embryos. And again, here it was believed that L-carnitine plays an important role in reducing the membranous toxicity, which is present of due to free fatty, fatty acids. And there is cell damage or membrane cell damage due to ox uh, oxidative stress. So this was all done in a laboratory and what it did is he looked at 14 oocytes and 106 embryos and looked at the mitochondrial DNA and looked at the oxygen consumption rate and where they instilled L-carnitine and well they instilled L-carnitine they saw that there was an in increased in the conversion between morula to a blastocyst to a good quality blastocyst uh, in those cases where this intervention was done to 15.1% and in those where no, no treatment was done to 8.8%. And my question is, we'll say, well, would we start giving L-carnitine? One, we don't know what dose to give it. Second, this was done in the laboratory. And again, we have absolutely no idea about it. So what, what would I suggest? I'll say, well, that's interesting because we're trying to see what is going to improve the condition of eggs and sperm and we just don't know about it and we don't have an idea about it so i'll go back and say well have a think about it and if you feel that you know drugs like dha and l-carnitine and, and maca root and all those could be useful and i'll still say that it is a luck of the draw and we don't know but there is some evidence will feel slowly come through where we in the laboratory we may be able to elicit a positive or a negative response. Thank you.